What's up, internet? I am Manish from RebellionRider.com, and today we will be learning how to multiplex control file using P file in Oracle database. What is multiplexing? Why we need multiplexing of control file? And how to multiplex Oracle control file using SP file? I have already answered these questions in my previous tutorial. If you haven't watched that, then do it right away. Link is in the description below. That being said, let's start the tutorial. Here I will demonstrate the steps of multiplexing control file using P file in Oracle database. First, let's check whether we are using P file or SP file. Step 1. Connect with the database. Step 2. Check if the database is using SP file or P file. Let's execute. If the database is using SP file, then there will be the name along with the location in the value column, like it is showing right now. Since it is showing location with the name, that means I am using SP file right now. If the database is using P file, then there will be nothing in this column. But if there would have been nothing in that column, then I would be using P file, then I would be able to configure control file multiplexing only through P file. And I'm going to show you the steps of multiplexing through P file right now. So let's do that. Since my database is using SP file, thus I will have to switch it to P file. For that, I first need to create the P file using the same SP file that my database is using right now. Let's do that. This statement will create the P file using the SP file that I have specified here. The location of that P file will be same as that of the SP file. Let's execute. File created. Now we will force our database to use this P file instead of SP file. And for that, we first need to shut down the database. Let's do that. Database shut down. Now we will start the database using P file that we just created. This will start the database using the P file. Done. Once again, let's check if we are using P file or SP file. Since there is nothing in the value column, that means the database is using P file right now. So first, shut down the database. The name of the P file is initorcl.aura. You can search this name using your operating system search utility. Otherwise, by default, this file is situated in the same directory as your SP file. Let's open this folder and find this file. Here it is. I will open this file with the notepad utility. Done. Now search the parameter named control underscore files in this file. Here it is. Now we have to put the names along with the location of both the control files here. Also, both these names must be enclosed in single quotes and separated by a comma like this. Now let's save the changes and come back to our command prompt. First, find out the control file. Then, 
This statement will show you the name and the location of the control file. Use this information and make a copy of your control file with a different name. For example, in my case, the name of the control file is control01.ctl. So I will make its copy with the name control02.ctl. You can name your control file whatever you want. Just make sure that the name always ends with .ctl. Let's make a copy. To do that, I will be using command prompt copy command. This copy command will create the copy of control01.ctl with the name control02.ctl. Let's execute. Done. Now start up the database. Startup also done. If there were any problems with the multiplexing of the control files, then we would have got an error during the startup. Since the startup was smooth and there were no errors, that means we have successfully multiplexed our control files. That is how we do multiplexing of control file using P file in Oracle database. Hope you learned something new from this video. If so, then give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Till then, take care. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.